The Special Olympics World Games Abu Dhabi 2019 was more than a sporting competition. It empowered people of determination with intellectual disabilities and promoted the need to create a more inclusive society. For everyone connected with badminton at the ADNEC arena, the sport played an excellent role supporting the cause. Badminton is such a special sport because it's really fun to watch, especially when you are supporting your own you know, team or from your country or you want to just support the players, you know, the people that are playing badminton, especially in the Special Olympics. You're rooting for everybody. And it's an easy sport to be a part of. And I get to learn, I get to learn sports because I'm because I don't play a lot of sports, so I like playing a lot, a lot. And I get to learn to be a part of an amazing opportunity for Special Olympics. Badminton at the games was not just a platform for players to strut their stuff. It also gave 12 participants from the Cedra Foundation the opportunity to fulfill their line judging duties as part of the Special Olympics officials program for athletes. Badminton was definitely one of our favorite sports from the beginning because looking at the structured manuals that were already um, available and looking at the tremendous support that we received from the badminton community here in the UAE, it was clear we need strong partners to realize this program. Watching those 12 participants growing and developing independence, their social network, their leadership experience, their communicational skills, it is really tremendous, and I don't use this word uh, lightly, but it was really a life-changing experience. Understanding the rules and regulations was no easy task, but with continuous encouragement from administrators of the sport and the participants' own determination to succeed, it was only a matter of time before badminton's latest recruits showcased their newfound skills. They were all excited to be part of it, so... They started with the concept of it, but as we progressed from having uh, theoretical classes to uh, practical classes, they developed the concept of the badminton and understood what it's about, and they understood the rules of it. So we have them today being part of this event. And with the recent signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between the BWF and Special Olympics International, there is no doubt that the new opportunities will continue to arise for these people of determination. It has to be open-minded culture now. Now that it's, it, the Special Olympics happened in Abu Dhabi, I would love to see a more open-minded approach to hiring people with disabilities. And that's my hope for the future.